You're watching the Intel Network and Edge V Summit series with our focus today on the network at the edge. There is significant diversity and complexity involved with Edge and it seems that every company and vertical sector is viewing Edge through a different lens. With a highly fragmented ecosystem, a broad portfolio is required to address the diverse workloads as well as converged architectures. Skylab is merging the worlds of IoT and networking to harness data and leverage learnings across use cases, utilizing key platforms and technologies from Intel to scale its solutions. Joining me now to explain how are Stephen Ho, Group Chief Operating Officer of Skylab, and Steen Graham, General Manager Ecosystem and Developer Scale Internet of Things Group at Intel. Stephen and Steen, thanks very much for joining us. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you as very well. Great. Stephen, tell us more about this unique space within Edge in which Skylab operates and some of the first flagship use cases that set you on this services journey. Sure thing, Guy. I think uh, we had a very interesting journey and it started some four years back. And it started because we were posed a very interesting question by one of the clients. And this client happened to be the largest solar developer in Singapore. They came to us with a very interesting piece of puzzle. They had a very big deployment of solar farms on rooftops across the whole of Singapore. And they needed data to be harvested from these solar panels, processed it somewhat, and very expeditiously sent to the cloud for further processing. So they have been looking around for different solutions and they couldn't quite find one that was able to put together you know, the OT, operation technology, IT, and communications technology. So they came to us and we, we took a very good look at it. And in a way, that's how Skylab began. Uh, Skylab is a digital performance company and our mission in life really is to optimize the delivery of content, software, and machine data uh, for mission critical applications globally. And we are a deep tech firm that develops our own technology, products, and platforms. So we were quite keen to take up the challenge. So when the client came to us and they said, you know what, we have a lot of solar panels deployed across the whole of Singapore. We need data coming in from the system. And we're looking at data regarding the subcomponents like inverters, uh, like pyrometers, and at the same time as power meter. And those actually spans different mix brands and types. So we took a good look and we discovered what the issue was. Number one, we had to figure out how do we extract and harvest data from a variety of equipments and sensors that has different protocols. So we developed technologies and product that allows us to be agnostic to protocols and we could harvest data that way. The second question that we had to answer really was, how do you transmit those data robustly, quickly, and safely. This was a very tight requirement because in as far as the client is concerned, they have very strict SLA that they have to adhere to. So they pass along the SLA or service level agreement to us and we took up the challenge. As a consequence of this project, Skylab actually became one of the largest industrial IoT service provider in Singapore. And today, we are looking at some 3,000 sites across the whole of Singapore that we are providing this real-time data harvesting for. And thereafter, we were able to realize the opportunity that lies in the edge world, the edge cloud world, and what are some of those issues, and we have leveraged those learnings into some other very interesting and exciting domains thereafter. Terrific. And, and, and what were some of the key learnings from these use cases? Is there a, a, a common customer problem that you are always solving with use cases like this? Absolutely. I think one of the key challenges that uh, most of our subsequent clients, including uh, the first client, uh, was facing really was how do you pull data from right up to now siloed subsystems, you know, systems that have different protocols, different types, different makes. You know, how do you do that? Uh, and this is a very interesting puzzle to solve, but at the same time, it's a very mission critical puzzle to solve. So I think the first challenge that really has to be addressed is how do you pull data from different subsystems, different protocols? And that's a very important question. And subsequently, how do you 
process those data at the edge because we are talking about a large volume of data and obviously not all those data uh, could benefit from being sent to the cloud. Really, some of those uh, data have to be correlated at the edge. And afterwards, how then do you send those process data to the cloud for further visualization or for further display and analysis? And I think from there, as we look at our various clients, uh, we extended into green energy, uh, more broadly speaking. I mean, we started with solar, we extended into green energy, we extended into smart cities, smart building, smart marine time. And as we go into this various uh, industry and verticals, we realize they are all facing the same issue. I could give one example in the smart building space. I, I think for us, we had a very interesting project that we did. Uh, they needed data coming up from building management systems. They needed data coming up from facilities management systems. They needed data coming up from IoT, new IoT sensors attached to equipment, plants. At the same time, they needed data coming up from asset management systems. So as you can imagine, it is a really a myriad uh, you know, source of data. And the question then becomes, how do you pull them all together? And in the spirit of data analytics, and especially in the case of a building, we are really looking at predictive analytics. Can we or are we able to process some of this data at the edge so that you can correlate them and get very useful insights for the purposes of alerts, for the purposes of tracking? Subsequently, we have extended this in the marine time world. Again, they are facing the same issues. You know, there are different subsystems that needs to be managed and so on and so forth. So from all the domains that we have been uh, involved in, I realized that it's a common problem. And it's a problem of data because I think increasingly in the world, uh, you know, of 5G and IoT, everybody wants data quickly. But then the question becomes, how do you get those data quickly? And as I mentioned, now with 5G, everybody's starting to wonder, how does it all come together? IoT, cloud, 5G. And I think Skylab was very fortunate. We started our journey early. So all the products and platforms and solutions that we've put together right now is actually 5G ready as well. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, Steen, how is Intel helping partners like Skylab who want to deliver optimized platforms that bring together several workloads under a single unified architecture? Well, there's really three fundamental areas that we're helping partners like, like Skylab. Number one is our product portfolio. Uh, ranging product portfolio from our VPU technology, purpose built for edge AI applications, all the way up to our Xeon technology, enabled to do those multi workload use cases that Stephen talked about earlier, and making that all accessible through a common set of developer tools, where you can write once and deploy across that vast set of diverse architecture to meet those diverse needs and use cases. And finally, it's about unleashing the ecosystem and the capabilities from a vast partner network of over a thousand partners for edge computing to make those successful. And making that available in a common way. And so as it pertains to specifically workloads at the edge and unlocking the ability to go do an IT workload, an operations technology or an OT workload and a communications technology workload all on common off the shelf infrastructure, we're releasing a number of software development kits. Toolkits like our Open Vino toolkit, where you can write once uh, in C or Python and deploy across that diverse range of architecture, optimized AI technology. In addition to that, we deploy our Open Nest toolkit where you can use some of our network services capabilities, again, running the communications technology workload with that OT workload you might run with that AI technology. And on top of that, we also, we have optimized toolkits for things like media transcoding. As we know, roughly 80% of IP traffic is now video. How do we optimize that traffic, run analytics on it? Notably, all three of those toolkits to run that operational technology workload that you might run with computer vision, the 5G or network services toolkit with OpenNest that you might run concurrently with that computer vision, and the media transcoding workload, those all work together. 
But we find that that's not enough. We need to be able to not just make development toolkits so you can run those workloads, optimize them together. We have to find you know common ways to release those to innovative partners like Skylab. And we make those toolkits available. But not only that, we make production implementations of those toolkits. So for partners like Skylab, they can deploy through our Edge Software Hub, which is a distribution channel for software that unleashes the power of the ability to do those multi-workload converged applications at the edge and unlock the value of all this data. Thanks, Dean. Uh, Stephen, as we've heard, Skylab is unique with respect to its IoT and networking expertise. What are some of the Intel technologies that you use that help you to more easily merge these two worlds together? Absolutely. I think uh, we are very appreciative and grateful to Intel because as as I was sharing earlier, uh, because of our initial success on the solar use case, we increasingly receive a lot of inquiries and demands for increasingly more difficult kind of edge solution. Uh, and a lot of them revolves around vision. And, and I think this is an ongoing trend. And uh, But interestingly, although the client has such a requirement, but they are also very conscious about deployment time, project implementation, cost effectiveness. And we actually went out looking. And we were quite fortunate, you know, we came across, you know, uh, Intel. And we were quite excited when we realized Intel had the over open Vino uh, library and uh, system as what uh, Steen was talking about. And it was already a solution that we could very quickly adapt uh, into our products. And at the same time, as mentioned earlier, it wasn't just at one location that we are looking towards rolling out those products and solutions. Uh, for many of our clients, uh, why they were interested in us primarily was because they had large portfolio of edge platforms that they need to manage. And in that regards, uh, again, Intel's openness microservices was very, very useful. And in fact, today, uh, our products platform and solution is really built around OpenVINO, openness, and of course, we're also very, very proud to be associated with uh, the Sarah ecosystem that Intel is pushing for. Because for us, we believe in a very open system and we believe in giving the best solution to our clients, the most cost effective, the most robust, the most secure and the most effective. And I think uh, having Intel technology and having being part of the Intel ecosystem really benefited Skylab tremendously. Steen, Intel has always been a strong catalyst for building ecosystems that support scale. How is this capability even more significant now when it comes to the edge? Well, when you talk about the edge, you talk about the, the physical world we live in. And we aspire to solve the problems of the physical world and unlock the potential of this data to drive business outcomes. And that's, you know, how do, how do we make fritch frictionless retail environments? How do we detect defects in manufacturing processes? You know, how do we unlock the potential of all the data in the physical world to make the, the world a better place? And with that ambition, you have to have a massive ecosystem. So with the advent of, of IoT and Edge, we've been building a, a huge ecosystem to solve the range of technologies. Through our market-ready solutions uh, portfolio, we are aspiring um, with our partners to solve end-to-end -end IoT solutions and drive repeatability. So when we have a partner like Skylab that can solve one or many use cases, we want to enable them to drive repeatability and drive those business outcomes across many end in, in customers. And through that ecosystem, we have over 300 use case specific offerings. And they range from everything from cold chain monitoring to autonomous mobile robots that manage inventory in warehouses. And we've seen over 10,000 unique end customer deployments of offers uh, through that ecosystem. Now, as a subset of that ecosystem, you know, the, the companies that go beyond the operational technology workloads, that go beyond the IT technology workloads, and aspire to do communication technology, 5G, 
operational technology workloads and IT workloads off common infrastructure. That enables the best total cost of ownership and the best time to business outcome. And companies like Skylab were highlighting through that portfolio because they, they're going one step further in those three converged workloads on common off the shelf infrastructure so they can delight their customers faster with all of those capabilities installed and ready to go. Because as we know, we find new business problems every day. We find new ways to use that data every day. And using that common off the shelf infrastructure with those three workloads provision on that infrastructure is a unique area. And so as Stephen referred to as a subset of our market ready solutions portfolio, we have converged edge reference architectures commercialized through partners like Skylab. And we're also highlighting those because they're fantastic implementations of technology and drive that total cost of ownership and time to business outcome for the end customers that are using that technology. Great. Well, Steen and Stephen, thank you both very much for sharing your views. Good to see you both on the program. And don't forget, you can watch more interviews and discussions on edge networking right here as part of the Intel Network and Edge vSummit series. But for now, thank you for watching and goodbye.